Hi you duck, welcome to the Kirsty Mickey Nails YouTube channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be using <laughs> a glue gun. It looks like a little bit of a water pistol if it wasn't it for does, the wire. It does, doesn't it? It if does. If it wasn't for the wire. Yeah. So yeah, we're getting crafty today. Um, I saw something on TikTok and I thought, what a load of rubbish, that won't work. But I've actually had play and it works, so I can't wait to show you. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Right, so I've got a nail that's already been done and we've got the colour Ruth on it, which is just a nude. It's just a nude colour because I want this to be all about the embellishments. Because today we are going to make our own embellishments so for our little craft session today you're going to need some backing paper from a sculpting form i did actually use a little uh, plastic lid as well you could use that as long as it's smooth what i'm going to do is and i think this would be pretty cool because do you know when you run out of um embellishments whether that's crystals or you know those alloy sort of um metal pieces that you put on nails we're gonna make more on our very own I mean, I'm excited. So, I've got a real Swarovski crystal here, and these are very, very expensive, but I love the shape. They only come in a pointy back version. So you have to like sort of build them up and build like a big cluster. My idea is to make one of these, but make it flat back. Obviously, it's not gonna be as beautiful as a Swarovski crystal, but we're gonna try our very best to make it very similar. And then I'm also going to try to use the face of the skull as well. So I've got this little skull and we're going to try and use the face. Because obviously this is very domed. Like it won't even sit flat because it's so domed. And I want to make it more wearable, shall we say. We are going to use some clear. I mean, I don't think it really matters what, what glue you have in your glue gun. But what we're going to do is I'm going to put some out, some of the hot glue onto the backing paper from the sculpting pool, making sure it's bigger than the item. Really clear, isn't it? It is. It's nice and clear. And then I'm going to get my embellishment. I'm going to use a pammy pickle there and I'm going to press that into the hot glue. You need to chew. Ah, right, so you're not using the glue to make the actual stone. No. You're using the glue for the mold. We're making a mold. Okay. And do another one for the skull. Right, so I'm just going to build up this one a little bit more. Right, I don't know whether I need to do this one again, because I think I might have messed it up a little bit. But, you know, you're here for the journey. Learn by my mistakes and hopefully you won't make as many. Right, so now I'm going to take this out. We now have a mould. Oh, you can see the facets in it and everything. I know. How cool is that? I am going to do another one though. I'm going to do another one just in case I might have copped that one up a bit. Yeah, because you won't know until you've actually made it, will you? Mm. Mm. I'm guessing you have to use clear glue as well because then it cures the word, the acrogel. Yes. Ah, that's actually a good point. Let's get the puppy picker off there. Get the stone. Press it in. Let's have a little look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've drowned a skull. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to work. Because it's, it's in there. I've not tried it with a skull. He is in there, we can see his little face. So, 
I'm going to let that one set a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with these two. And we're going to learn from these and see if we need to try anything a little bit different. So we're going to use Clear as Day Aqua Gel. So we're going to use a spatula and we're going to take a little bit of the Clear as Day Aqua Gel. Just scrape that in. And then we have some clean up solution. And I'm going to use the Mr. Buttons brush, dampened with clean up solution. Feed that into the mold. We're going to do the scrub. It's mad how you put the aqua gel in and then you just can't see what you made an impression of because luke you just, just can't, can't see, see the skull it. now no you can't like you lose all of the all of the facets don't you yeah or anything you know it's there yeah so the the, the, the glue is still like sort of rubbery yeah and soft so it'll peel off because the other stuff will be yes. hard won't it yes let's have a look at this one Let's pop it out to just bend the glue. Oh my God, that one's really good. Look at that one. Right up. Oh yeah. That is really good. It is much easier to hold this one because it is a bit bigger, so I would definitely do that. To make the mold larger than you normally, yeah, than you think you think you need, yeah, yeah. Because I suppose that gives you like you could pinch it with your fingers at the end, like mm -hmm. on an edge, like as if it's got a little handle. Yeah. But I'm not going to worry too much about what sort of spills over the shape because we can trim that. Yeah, it's mad you can't see it now. <laughs> what the? What the hell? It's like when you put clear, like that ice, is it ice that you put in water and it just disappears? Or is it something that you put in water? No. Oh, if you put a glass of water in a glass of water, the glass of water disappears. Oh my God, that's mad. I didn't know that. I think I think that's what it is. Right, let's get the first one out that we did. Right, so we're going to pop this. So your mould will still be flexible, but your aqua gel won't be. Oh my God, you can use that mould again. Really? Yeah, look at that. Still intact. Right, so I'm going to use the cuticle nippers just to trim off any excess that's actually better than I thought it would be <laughs> you're gonna file it yeah I'm just gonna use the 240 grit and just get those edges nice and sharp oh I've just had another idea Doing a bit of work, it works on there, seems like it'll work on there. Right, let's just wipe over with clean up solution so it's not sticky. So you definitely need gloves, you need gloves for this job. This is one of them things that's too small in my hands, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting cramped. <laughs> right, I'm just going to top coat the bottom for this one. So I'll just put this onto a stand that's got a sticky tab on it. Right, let's have a look at the skull. So let's pop that out. Oh, oh. Oh, look 
Guardian. And let's just neaten it on. Let's move that mould out of the way so we don't get dust in it. I wonder if we can clean the mould with like clean up solution that won't disintegrate it. Because have you got dust in it? Ooh. Probably best just washing it to be honest. So we have a little skull. I'm going to use the veil, which is a glossy top coat, but it's a transparent black. Oh, let's pop that in. Let's have a little look at the bigger one and see if this is better than the smaller mould. Which this one was. Oh, it's easier to to press out as well. You can you've got edges to sort of bend. That mould is mega. Can't get over the mould. Right, let's have a little look at the stone. I like it. Let's give it a bit of trimmage. I suppose the more you do it, the better you'll get at um, not getting as much overspill. On this one, I'm going to put, is it party pool? Yeah, party pool, which is a jelly top coat. So this is the Heading back to one. party pool soon. Yeah, party pool. He's going party in the bank. Take some fire resistant gloves with me this time. Oh my God, Adam, tell him about your catastrophe me, with me, the cocktail. The cocktail. Out with the lads on our Lonely Boys Club, which is a Friday night. Um, every other Friday we go out, there's four of us, and we tend to get a little bit drunk because um, mm -hmm. we're all lonely men. Um, <laughs> lonely married men. Lonely married men. <laughs> um, what we do, we find that we've got no friends. That's why we've we've started doing it again because yeah. we sort of lost our friends. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I was in the, the after I'd had several drinks, and this was the last one of the last drinks of the night. Yeah. And the, the guy behind the bar gave us this flaming drink. Yeah. So I picked one up to hand to my friend. You always look a bit dangerous to me. I do like Well, this one was weird. I don't danger. mind. A, a sambuca's fine because the sambuca, it's a glass that's on fire. Yeah. This one was a glass with something to drink in it. Yeah. With another glass inside, which was had something in that was flaming. So the... So there was a drink within a drink. A drink within a drink, and, and the, the inner, outside, one, was, inner yeah. one was flaming. Oh, right, yeah, okay. So, it so I picked safe. that up to give to my friend, but the inner glass fell over, and it spilt all over my hand, and... Burnt your hand. And burnt my hand. Shall we see what, what's left? Yeah, the, show, show, him the dam, show him the damage to the now hand. Now, bear in mind, this was on Good Friday, which was, what, how many months ago? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Scarred for life. Scarred, yeah. That's what you. That's what happens when you try to get drunk. I know. Oh, I like this one. Oh wow! But what I want to do as well to make it even more fantabulous. So will you have to top coat the back of that though? Well, I've used a top coat for the back of it. Oh god, yes, it's a jelly top coat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. So you could leave it like that, which is pretty cool. Then this is the other one that has just got a normal top coat on. So this is the skull, and obviously because we've added that jelly top coat at the back, you can kind of see the facets a little bit more. But I want to see them even more than that. Because if we put gel polish on top of this, it's going to look thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to use ink. So this is our marble ink onyx. Give it a shake. Shake that um, ball bearing. Ball bearing around or if you're a lucky person you might have got two yeah yeah Adam, um, Adam might have put two in my mistake that was a really hard one to fill because it picks up the pigment mm. the, it just stains the glass immediately yeah so you can't actually see how much you're filling <laughs> it's a bloody nightmare not the easiest product to fill no right so we're going to go over with the ink 
color the skull. Make sure you get into all those nukes and crannies. Oh, look smart that does. Let's see if this black chrome from Lucente will stick to this. Ooh. Let's just give it a go. Let's see if it works. So, because the chrome is on there, when we top coat this now, it should hold the facets a little bit better. And where's my chrome top coat? This is my chrome top coat, so it's all glossy top coat, but I've made a little mark on the top of it. So you can tell that that is the one that I use for the chrome, because you always get little bits of particles of chrome in your top coat. Mm, you do lose it a bit. Mm, even though it's like ridiculously thin, yeah. you'd have to take off as much as you can. Mm -hmm. So I think with the lint, if they are super, super detailed, it doesn't work as well. But we've still got a black skull. Right, let's bang that in the lamp. And then for this one, for this one, I'm going to pop it on a little stand. I'm going to clean it up. And I want to see if this chrome will stick to it. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, now we are talking. Look at that. Oh, my God, we just made... We just made a Swarovski crystal. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's amazing. We made a Swarovski crystal. We get around the edges. Oh, my God. This is by far my favorite favorite oh i could do this all day oh look at that that is mega right what i'm going to do now is top coat this super 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 thin and the chrome will hold the facet What if? Right, now this works with resin. When you do like resin art, this works with resin. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. Can I suggest something? Yeah. Why don't you, when you've got your mould, top coat the inside of the mould first, cure that, then fill it with aqua well, gel. I'm kind of going to do that. Ah, oh, right, okay. But it's a slightly different. Because what we're going to do first, we'll do one like that. Okay. And we'll do one like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get this mould. We're going to get the chrome. And we're going to rub it in. So this is what works on resin. So when you do, when you work with moulds, when you do resin, um... You can coat the inside of your silicon mould. And obviously this isn't silicon, it's glue. And then when you put your resin in, the chrome sticks to the resin and you don't need to top coat it. So... And you don't need to top coat it? Mm, so that's what I want to try. See if it works. Because Acrogel does have a sticky layer. Only when it's co made contact with air. Ah, so that's on the inside. Ah, oh, right, okay. But then now what we're going to do is we're going to use party pool. Go in with party pool. I'm going to do this with a brush because um, I don't want to get chrome on my party pool. So we're going to use Babacas. This is the Babacas brush. We do have a Babacas um, gel polish as well. It's going to go all the way around the edges. God, I hope this works. If this well, works, it will, because it's, it's, it's going to store the facets. Yeah. It's on the outside. doesn't matter how thick you make the inside. And then, with the other one, we're going to do Adam's idea. And we're going to put 
party pool straight in to the mold. All right, I was just on about uh, top coat. I know that is a coloured top coat, but... Oh, you were just going on about yeah. going straight on top. If you, if you top coat it, then you put the chrome underneath. Well... Hmm? No, I'm so, confused. So... Right, so, right, if so... If you top coat it, yeah. then, then put... So cure it. Once it's done? Yeah. So top okay. coat it, put top coat in, um, cure it. Yeah. Then acro gel it, flatten off the bottom, cure that. So you're going to have a top, you're going to have the, 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 the facets in the top coat. So then, and then you can clean, you can, you can do whatever you want to the bottom of the crystal. Like a normal crystal is, because the crystal's not pink, is it? It's the, it's the, it's, it's the, the bottom. The bottom that's pink. Yeah. No, I'm still confused. You're not about putting the top coat in the mould? No, you put the top coat in the moulds, just clear top coat. Right. Cure that. Chrome it. Then, well, you can chrome it if you want, but I would just put... Then I would put your, your Acro Gel in, cure that, and then chrome the bottom of the crystal. Is anybody else following? Well, <laughs> I think... I know you, what I'm talking about. You're going to tell me what to do when I do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going okay. to do it. So it's follow, gonna... follow, follow, follow Adam. Yeah. It's going to be follow Adam. Yeah. I've got to see if I can follow your instructions. Okay. To the letter. Right. So we're coming back to the first one we did where we chromed it, then we top coated. Yeah. Mm. Are you following me? Right. But then we're going to put aqua jelly. This is what I needed today. I was having a day where I felt like absolute rubbish and this is going to lift my mood in with the aqua gel. Gently press so we try and reduce the bubbles or any sort of gaps in the crystal. Right, let's go in. So this is the one that is Top coat, top coat, party pool, party but pool. no chrome. No chrome. So we're going in with just aqua gel now. This is the one that. <laughs> this is this has chrome. This one has chrome. Let me clean the back of it so we're not sticky. So a clean up solution. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> it works! So that doesn't have a sticky layer then? No, no sticky layer. Okay. Not a much to trim. which so, was due to the fact that the pink was in there. Do you know what I mean? Because that's blue, that looks lovely. It really does. I am well impressed. I am well impressed. The skull was more difficult. It has got more detail. But this bad boy here is absolutely beautiful. Cheapest chips to make. Well, all that, you know, want to save money, don't we, these days? Cost of living crisis and all that. I think this is like... I love it. Right, let's look at this one. So this is the one that... So this is a mould that I think needs bigger sides on it, for one. Because um, it's a little bit more difficult to, to get it out. Nice. That is proper sparkly. So what are we doing now? So I think normal top coat. Normal top coat. Glossy, okay. glossy top coat. Yeah. I can't believe the mould's held. I mean, it's 
This will be the third one out of this now, won't it? Yeah. Let's see how, how it, if it does hold up. Yeah, do you think it might lose? Might lose some of the shine, maybe. I was thinking more of the shape, more than anything. Yeah. Let's have a look what happens. It's a good guide of how how many times you can use the mold. Do you want me to do it? You want me to? You want me to do it clear, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clear, clear aqua gel. Yeah. So I would say, if you were gonna, if you really wanted to make a little business of this and, and like go all out, yeah, do it like this, and then when you've got a client in and they've got a certain colour scheme and you want a gel, a gem that's going to go with that colour scheme. Yeah. You get a gel polish that's the same colour and you gel polish the back of it. Yes. Oh. And then you've you've got them to hand and customise them as you go rather yeah. than do it the way that you did it and then you'd have to do them yeah. custom every time from, the, from scratch. I'm going to clean it while it's in the mould. Only that side should need cleaning. Right, let's have a little look. Yeah, it's not very shiny anymore. Lift up. Mm. I think. I think the mould has lost its shine. Oh, you mean it's like. Yeah. It's not as... The facets are there, but the mould has lost its shine. So it's not as smooth, which doesn't create as shiny of a... Yeah. ...surface on the thing that you're trying to... Yeah. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Let me do one more. No, you want to do one. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. See, if you look at that, and then you yeah. need to do that. So this is the used one, mm -hmm. and this is the new one. Right, we're gonna pop it. Pop, pop. Oh yes, that's, that's much better. better. Yeah, that's better. That's what I was expecting them to come out. Yes. So if you had a production line of them, but you can't have a production line, you get what two now? Yeah. You think, possibly. But if you've got, say, you had five crystals, mm. you could do five in a row, couldn't you? Yeah. Right, so top coat. And then we'll chrome, we'll do a rainbow holographic chrome. We'll see what happens. It's quite nice. Ooh. I don't know what it'll look like the other side, but yeah. Um, Top coat that, seal that. Oh yeah. So you still, you're getting the depth. Yeah. Because the what well, obviously the ones that you did had the colour within the the, the top core part. Mm -hmm. But with that you are getting the depth of what you would with a normal crystal. Yeah. I like it. Ooh. I like it. What if you put the colour in the background now? Like party Party pool over the top of that. I don't know if it'll show through. We'll have a go. So I'm going to put these onto the nail now. We're going to use... Um, it's going to be a big nail if you're putting all of them on. Well, not onto, you know, maybe not on. <laughs> so on with gem glue. Press that down. And just kind of... Make sure we have a little bit of that gem glue going right around the outside so it just kind of catches the edges. And I can add some crystals as well. I want to see you make crystals that small. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
But if you did press them in, you could just literally just put top coat in, couldn't you? Yeah. As free as you thought. Right, let's have a look at this one that Adam told us to do. So we've put the um, party pool on the back. Yeah, it does make it a little bit pink. A little bit pink. So if it was a it was a full colour, it would be different, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you do get like you'll get some pink, and then you'll get some of the holographic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As well. So what you need to do is take your top coat. You know, I was saying, don't worry about the edges too much, and just kiss the edge of the stone that you've made with the top coat. And we'll kiss the edge of the other crystals as well. You could do is that you could have cool. those. It does look cool. Yeah, I like it. What do you think? Cool. I felt like it did sit better on the nail because it was slightly curved at the back mm. as well. Whereas this one, can you see how much higher it is? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've learned so much in this video. I have been educated. I hope you guys have as well. Give it a go. Hashtag is I don't know what you're going to hashtag just in case to make your nails inspired, something like that. I don't know. But I want to see your results if you have a go. What are you going to make? Because I'm excited to see. But everything I've used today will be listed below. Um, I don't think we'll list the um, glue gun because I'm sure you can get that at any kind of hobby place. If you want to know what I've been putting it on because they kind of leak out a bit. I've been using my palette and if you use your metal palette it just rolls off so yeah it's a good little top tip there but yeah thank you for joining us and i'll see you in the next video Ta -da! <laughs>